We do want to get to some breaking news just coming in right now out of Colorado. The Colorado Supreme Court banning former President Donald Trump from the state's primary ballot. The Colorado Supreme Court today declaring Trump ineligible for the White House under the U.S. Constitution's insurrection clause and removed him from the state's presidential primary ballot, setting up a likely showdown in the nation's highest court to decide whether the frontrunner for the GOP nomination can remain in the race. The decision from a court whose justices were all appointed by Democratic governors marks the first time in history that Section 3 of the 14th Amendment has been used to disqualify a presidential candidate. Colorado's highest court overturned a ruling from a district court judge who found that Trump incited an insurrection for his role in the January 6, 2021 attack on the Capitol, but said he could not be barred from the ballot because it was unclear that a provision was intended to cover the presidency. The court stayed its decision until January 4th or until the U.S. Supreme Court ruled on the case. Trump's attorneys had promised to appeal any disqualification immediately to the nation's highest court, which has the final say about constitutional matters. His campaign said it's working on a response to the ruling and speaking of former president donald trump we have a live picture here from this rally that's happening out of waterloo iowa so certainly would think that he would address this breaking news as it just came down here again colorado the supreme court declaring former president donald trump ineligible for the white house under the u.s constitution's insurrection clause and removed him from the state's primary presidential ballot. So some major news, some historic news yet again, dropping down here out of Colorado. And this is an issue, a topic that had failed in also Michigan and Minnesota. And so this is uh, certainly a big deal here. And again, former President Donald Trump, he's supposed to step up on this stage in Waterloo, Iowa here in the next 10 minutes. So will that be delayed after this news came down? We are not sure quite yet. We'll see Time will tell us if that will be the case, but would think that he would likely comment on this as it just came down here.